Hey guys, so I wanted to share a little bit about uh, the construction of this travel altar that I made for myself. I recently took a little weekend road trip and um, I made this because I do tend to have a little bit of anxiety um, with leaving my sacred space and so I kind of just put this together so that I could bring a little bit of my sacred space with me. I'm sure that a lot of other witches can relate to, to this feeling. <laughs> um, but I love, love this altar and I will most definitely be taking it with me on any other overnight trips that I have. So let me share with you. Sorry about the movement. I uh, lost a piece of my tripod so I'm going to have to try and do this one-handed so I'll do my best. <laughs> um, obviously this is an old Starbucks mug box and I love that it's been so well used and loved. I've used it for a few different things actually. But this is my favorite so far. And this is my travel book of shadows. I haven't put anything in it yet. But I do want to write down some correspondences that are related to the items I have in my altar um, or travel altar and any other experiences that I have, uh, magical experiences on my travels or away from home. So I really love this book. It's, it's quite thick, um, only about two or three dollars from Walmart. So I really like it and the pages feel really nice. <laughs> Um, let's see, this is some aura cleansing spray that I made with essential oils of clove, um, lemon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, and I love it. I actually put some little tiny crystal pieces in there, as you can see. Um, this really did help me through <laughs> my trip away from home uh, to keep me grounded and more positive so I'll definitely keep this in here and actually I'll probably make some more of it just to have for every day um, these are some altar stones that I made I mean not altar stones sorry offering stones that I made um, and I'll put the link to the video that inspired me to make these but you know it's got flower petals and stones stuck in there and it's basically flower, uh, cream of tartar, um, water, and some olive oil I think. And yeah, just in case I find anything beautiful that I'd like to take home with me, I like the idea of leaving something um, as a way to give and not just take. Uh, this little guy I made. Um, this is my one and only crystal point that I own and I put this little eye charm on here as kind of like a evil eye protect protection um, idea combined with the idea of opening my third eye. Um, eyeballs have always been something that's resonated deeply with me so this little tiny wand is small but boy does he pack a punch so um, I'm probably actually gonna leave him on my normal everyday altar as well because <laughs> I love him so much um, this guy I've had this tin since I was a teenager probably even before uh, I don't even know what it's supposed to be used for when I got it I was like man uh, mom are you like telling me that I should take pills with me or like what <laughs> especially because it doesn't stay closed but anyway <laughs> ramble there so in here I've got some green calcite um, this is actually some polymer clay that a stranger um, I used to work at Michael's craft store and I was working in the clay aisle and stranger walks by and hands this to me as kind of a way to pass love and kindness is sort of a pay it forward type of idea so that's really really neat and I I have it in here as a way to remind myself to always spread love and kindness um, in everything that I do and this little Buddha 
I love him. He's a little charm. And when I put together an actual, like, altar with these items, I always include a Buddha. So, so cute. Also, somewhere in here, right here, this is a stick that my husband found for me on a trip that we took together a few years ago. And I love that the water, because he found it in a river, I love that the water has changed it so much. So um, this is kind of like just a neat um, combination of the earth and the water element to me. Um, in this little pouch that I've also had since my teenage years, um, I've got a lighter, and you'll see why I stuck one in here in a minute. I've got some extra baggies for gathering things, um, herbs, leaves, whatever I may find. Some broken pieces of a charcoal disc, uh, some tweezers, and this is actually a tea light, an empty tea light with some foil in there, which actually works as kind of like a mini cauldron which is really, really freaking cool, and I was so stoked when I experimented and tried this out, um, because cauldron magic is, like, my go-to <laughs> for most things, so I love that I came up with this portable idea. And then I also have some birthday candles for um, color magic, and I made this little tiny candle holder here. You can see the glitter in it with um, polymer clay and this little holder came with the candles so um, it works perfectly and I love the little tiny holder that I made <laughs> um, yeah color magic and here are some cone incense with this little disc actually came with the incense themselves and I love that it's so perfectly portable Sorry about my cat food <laughs> in the background there. Um, and then I also have a pen for writing in my book of shadows. And then I'll show you why I have this Sharpie in here in a minute as well. And then random. I got a piece of tumbled amethyst and a seashell that my husband also found for me. I love tokens that he brings home or finds for me. They are really special. Um, okay, this bag is actually a protection charm that I made. Um, we've got in here a... this is why I put the Sharpie. Um, this is a rune on a bay leaf. That's This particular rune is good for protection. Um, then We've got some sea salt and cloves, uh, again for protection, and let's see here, I've got this stone that I found um, really close to where I live. Um, it's actually a piece of quartz, uh, come to find out, but it's interesting because it's so opaque. Uh, I love it though. And this little leaf is actually a piece of jade and it used to be a necklace that was given to me by my grandma. And I kind of wrapped it around the quartz just for aesthetic at first, but then I was, I don't know, there's just something about this little amulet that makes me feel very safe. Um, so that's why I've included it with my protection charm. And then also in here, I've got this little, if I could get it, it's hard to do one-handed. Um, I've also got this pentacle charm that I stuck. This is a piece of garnet. This is my birthstone. But, um, yeah, this little amulet's been with me for a long time. And, again, it makes me feel safe. So, there are those items in here. This other little bag it used to have lavender in it, but I 
have since moved all of my lavender to a mason jar. I have a lot more of it now. Um, let's see here. I've got, sorry, <laughs> some clove, or no, these are rose petals for, um, charm, you know, charm jars, witches bottles kind of thing, or maybe burning as incense. Um, but rose is one of my all-time favorite herbs to work with. Same with lavender, which should be in here. Eh. Get out of there. Hold on. Put this camera down for a second. Ugh. I really wish I hadn't misplaced that thing for my tripod that holds my camera. It's kind of necessary. I have no idea where it is. Um, here is some... Lavender, again, one of my very favorite botanics. And then some extra bay leaves and a star anise and a piece of palo santo to possibly burn as incense. But the star anise is just really pretty to look at too. So, yep, that's in there. And almost done. This is some moon water for either consumption or um, witches bottles, spell jars, uh, that kind of thing. Then we've got a little bottle of rose quartz for offerings or again spells involving charms, things like that. Um, rose quartz is one of my favorite stones to work with. So, I really love that I found this little set of bottled um, gemstones. Then, this is some anointing oil that I made with um, uh, sage, white sage essential oil, um, sandalwood, and I believe rosemary. And this stuff is really holds a high vibration. I charged it under the full moon and um, I use it to anoint candles and other items I include in it in any spell or ritual work. And then some tea lights. Those are a must and it's cool that they're kind of um, inconspicuous I guess. They're not super like look at this big ass black candle that I'm gonna put out and do a spell right now. <laughs> Um, an extra vial for collecting things or, you know, like I was just saying with spell bottles, um, we could do that, whatever feels right for the moment. And lastly, this is some meditation oil that I made, um, one of the very first, like, um, things that I chose to include in my, my witchy practice that I made myself. So it's a base of sunflower oil with um, sage, lavender, rose, and one of my favorite blends by Raven's Flight. So I use this quite often and I think it's definitely a staple in my practice at this point. So that's why I've made a little travel size of it and we'll always have it in here ready to go with other um, supplies. So anyways, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was useful to you. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I will link any videos that I used um, for inspiration to make these things. and. I hope you all have a very blessed day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.